But let me tell you that the place where you are sitting today was recovering from the temperature of eight and a half thousand degrees millions of years ago, or the place where you are sitting was covered with ice for millions of years. Both these things are true. In this 15 minute video, you are going to see the journey of 4.5 billion years of the Earth. The place where our solar system is today used to be a cloud of different types of gases and dust. According to scientists, there used to be a star far away from these dust clouds. With time, the energy of the star started decreasing due to which a huge explosion took place inside it. Due to the explosion, the dust of the space started pressing against each other. During this time, the dust particles present in the clouds had transformed into large meteors and stones due to pressure and heat and due to this pressure, the radioactive material present in these clouds created gravity. Due to this gravity, Hydrogen and helium started accumulating in the middle. Due to the pressure of youth, a huge explosion took place and due to this explosion our sun was born. Due to the heavy weight of the asteroid spread in space, they came closer to the Sun and started to orbit the Sun. In the end, there was a collision as a result of which planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars were formed. According to scientists, at that time, the name given between the Earth and Mars was Aries. Due to gravity on Earth, the asteroids that orbited the Sun started to orbit the Earth and slowly for millions of years it kept falling on the Earth and such an incident is happening on our neighboring planet Mars as well, due to which it started coming closer to the Earth and has been attracting it. Due to this fierce collision, Parts of the Earth spread in space in the form of particles and a ring of stars started orbiting the Earth. While revolving around these particles, collisions started taking place due to which our Moon was formed. At that time there was only one ocean on the Earth and that was the 1958 Great Celsius Earthquake. All those things were boiling at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. All those things which you know by different names today were rising. With time the Earth was gradually cooling down due to which the heavy elements like metals and radioactive substances gathered in the center of the Earth and the lighter substances came to the surface of the Earth. For millions of years, there was a rain of meteorites on the Earth and these falling meteorites had salt, minerals and water stored in them. For millions of years, 
There was a rain of their billows and gradually the upper surface of the earth started feeling cold due to water. According to scientists, this was the time when the microbes were formed for the first time from the volcanoes coming out of the deep water. After millions of years, a time came when the upper surface of the earth was exhausted from water and the innermost core of our earth was always hot due to being made of radioactive substances. But whenever the earth's surface becomes cold, the heat inside the earth is not able to come out, due to which volcanoes are formed and something similar happened at that time. Thousands of volcanoes have started erupting on the earth covered with water and these volcanoes continued to erupt for millions of years, due to which this land was being formed above the water. At this time also, due to the absence of atmosphere on the earth, meteorites were raining from space. About 300 crore years ago, a time came on the Earth when the Earth's atmosphere started becoming almost stable, the volcano started erupting slowly and one day of the Earth used to be of one and a half hours. As the years passed, gradually the microscopic organisms started developing and started living in groups. About 250 core years ago, for the first time such organisms were formed on the earth, so to live, they need minerals inside the water and they use sunlight and excreted oxygen in the form of excreta. By this time, most of the volcanoes on earth had stopped erupting and due to these microbacteria, the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere was increasing. Due to the oxygen in the atmosphere, the Earth's atmosphere started forming and for thousands of years, the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere kept increasing, due to which this disease spread in most parts of the Earth. After thousands of years, a time came when due to more oxygen in the Earth, this disease started living and dying. By that time, the Earth's atmosphere had become cold as well as full of oxygen, due to which the iron minerals present in the ground and atmosphere started getting dissolved from the water present in it and a time came when the Earth's land had become as red as today's meat. With the passage of time, cracks started appearing in the tectonic plates of the Earth, due to which the inside of the Earth became like the ground, which became like millions of pieces of Earth. For years, it boiled like an open fire and this was the reason due to which the amount of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere increased a lot and acid rain started on the Earth. Due to this, the temperature of the Earth started decreasing and the water present on the Earth started turning into ice. For the first time, the Earth was hit by a terrible storm. At this time, the whole Earth was covered with white snow. Usually, when the rays of the sun fall on the earth, then the ground absorbs those rays, but because the whole earth had become cloudy and because the snow is white and shiny, due to which the rays of the sun go back after falling on the earth. Due to this, the earth got covered with snow for many years.